All right, trying to get back to the uh, capacity test of this cloud energy 40 volt 150 amp hour server rack battery. So here's the concept. It's rated at 7680 watt hours. 7.68 kilowatt hours, so 52 volts, 51.2 volts at 150 amp hours. So the display is showing 53 volts, and the cert and the uh, inverter is pulling about 1.2 amps just in standby. Basically, it's on, but no current draw. The voltage coming out of that. Let's see if we can do this one-handed here. Switch it to AC. Okay, 120 volts coming out. Okay, turn on the heater. It's a 150 watt heater. Recording this. It's pulling 31 dot nine amps. It's pulling 30.72 amps. According to the climb meter, which I did a test earlier, is it's very similar to the cloak meter that I borrowed. Check the actual voltage here, the battery, so I forgot that. calculation to come back for the continuation of this video. An hour later. Okay, it's now 10.15, an hour later from when we started at 9.15. Voltage of the battery. Fifty one dot three, one dot two two, three one amps. Come up, bring that. Almost thirty one amps. The battery is eighty percent, so that's about right for a two C point two C discharge, roughly. Still showing one hundred and twenty volts. Check the uh, DC current of the battery. So, almost 
almost 31. Not quite. 3.8 amps. Check the AC amperage. An hour later. Seven five, three got eight. AC amperage, heater amperage directly. Twelve point nine two. Test is going pretty well, I think. Keep you updated. See you in an hour. An hour later. Thirty minutes later. Minutes later, it's now uh, two forty-five. I came in and the inverter was beeping low battery, number four. The inverter was still showing nine percent. So showing nine percent, but shut off. The inverter shut off. So 
So let's see the AC or DC. Let's go DC. Okay, we're still seeing 46.7 volts. And I was reading about 35 amps on the meter. I checked it before I actually started the recording. And I was reading about 35 amps. So it looked like the amperage was increasing to maintain the wattage and the voltage staying the same. So it looks like we got 137 amp hours. Started at 99%, ended at 9%, so we used 90%. And it looks like it was shut off due to the inverter, not the battery. So, but the heater was going and the inverter was going. A few seconds after I walked in, I started getting the low battery alarm on the inverter. And then by the time I waited for 2.45 to start the video, the inverter had shut off. So, I'll do some calculations and get back with you. All right, guys. Well, I did all the calculations and the test looks pretty good. I actually put out a little bit more than its rated power, or at least it would have if it would have continued discharging. It was the inverter that shut off, not the battery. So, if we started at 10.15, and then we checked it every hour. And then 100% would have been at 315, but it actually shut off at 245, which is 90% of the test time, the to total five hour test time for a 0.2C load test. So each hour I marked the bolts, the red bolts, the measured amps, Multiply that out to get the watts at that time, that instantaneous time. So if I carry that over and then average it, each hour averaged 1574.2 watts. And then if you total that up, that's 7,870, which is a little more than the 7680 that it's rated at. If you take the 137 amp hours that the Amazon ammeter displayed over time, you divide that by the rated 150 amp hours, you get 91.33%, which if you calculate that over the entire 100% instead of just 90%, it's over by 1.47%. So works out to be 700 I'm sorry, 7792 watt hours. So I'd say the test is successful. The battery works as it should. Um, I'm sure you can program it to go to a lower to cut off lower, but again, it wasn't the battery that shut off. It was the inverter, and that's just the way it was programmed to shut off at a certain voltage. It doesn't communicate with this battery, so I had to do it by a uh, battery voltage shut off. And it was showing error code 4, which is low battery, right before he started videoing. I was trying to take amp readings as quickly as I could be and then be ready to start recording at 245. And that's when the inverter shut off. I think I spoke in the last section that I said it was 35 amps, but I misspoke. It was more like about 33 amps, so just approximately 33 amps. I was rushing, trying to get it done before the inverter shut off. Anyhow, it's a decent battery. I would uh, definitely consider using them. Good luck.